Hello everybody, Suzanne from, or in Ohio here. I wanted to show you how my tufted titmouse turned out. I think he's really nice. And this is from the bird kit number two. And I did the preliminary laying down some fabrics and things in my last video. Here's what he looks like overstitched. So what I want to do today is show you some ideas I have possibly about um, a background setting for him. So I've got some ideas going here and I thought you might just like to um, take a look into my brain and see how I determine what to do. And of course a lot of that depends on what I think I can do. I can get some ideas and then ask myself, can I really execute that? So you'll see him laying here on this mottled background. And I don't know if you can see close or not, but it was a jelly print on fabric uh, from my jelly plate. And uh, I did several of these. So I'm going to show you some that I took out of the package to be in consideration. Um, I ran across these the other day and I thought, boy, I need to use those. Now here's an, oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me get that phone out of the way. It's about a work schedule. They're blowing up my phone. Okay, so this was also, all of these three are jelly plate prints, but they were done with pine branches. Now you can't really determine that unless you really examine up close. But they've all got the impression of or lend itself to that concept, which I can add to to make it more distinguishable. And you can see how he could possibly sit on that. Here's another one, a smaller one, uh, brighter colors. And he could possibly sit somewhere in here. Now, I don't know exactly which one I'll use yet, but I'm thinking about how I can doctor it up, how I can carry off the concept. So I'm leaning toward this one. I'm leaning toward uh, putting a one big, very large bending branch right here and sitting him on that and letting all of the, the rest of this just be background. And the reason I'm leaning toward this one is because of this small amount of blue up in the sky. The others will end up looking dark and deep woodsy kind of impression. And that's all right, but I, I just don't know for sure what I can carry off. But what I was considering was incorporating some little pieces of fabric. And I drug out a lot of my samples of batiks. Now, I don't use batiks a lot. I think they're their own kind of genre. Um, and... I, I'm not really crazy about mixing them uh, with other fabrics, but this piece could be nothing but the jelly print plus some batiks. So I know in my mind I want to have the branch visible, and I found this piece, and by the time I cut a little sliver out of that, that could work. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff here which... You don't even need to see it all, but I could incorporate a bluey green in this because pine branches are kind of bluey green. Or I can take it into this lighter shades of green. I just don't know for sure. So I might put down just a little bit of batik and then stitch over top of it to create that big cluster of pine needle, just one big branch. So I had another idea, and it's this little piece. It's a pine cone um, and, and a pine branch that isn't even really finished yet. I, I did that with my ink tents, and I was thinking about making an inset. 
for this piece. And it would be squared off something like this with a border type around it. And then I can get him to fit. And then it just has this added interest up here into this plain area. And of course the pine branch will probably come over here and go up underneath the edge of it and all that. So I love the ideas so far and I want to give you a, just a little closer look at this bird how he ended up. You can see some of the stitching very good and let's see if I can get this camera to focus up close. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. But really, he was fun to do. And about the eyes, since I'm showing that, I've tried several methods. And what I ended up doing here was cutting his eye out of a tiny piece of black felt and then just glued it on and pushed it in real hard with, with an iron. Um, if I do the big pine branch, I'll use several shades of green all in the same color family so they don't clash with each other. And then whatever colors that ends up to be, I'll add some more pine needles onto this in the same color tones. This needs some more work. Um, I got tired and just quit that day. And so that's what he looks like all finished up. Bird kit number two, Tufted Titmouse. And I have not yet put him up on my Etsy site, but I will do that shortly in the next few days. Uh, we just now have a sunny day for me to take those photographs. Uh, but I've got other things to do today, so I'm going to wait with that project. Well, I thank you for watching this short video. And I hope you're inspired in some way and be sure and tune back in when you see you'll see a finished project of him sometime soon. All right, thanks for watching. And um, if you like this type of thing, give me a thumbs up. And if you're watching, just leave a quick comment and tell me where you're watching from. I just love that. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.